Good morning. It's Trisha with Easy e Mini Trade, and I'm going to just show you quickly how you can start out your day using the multiple time frame analysis. You don't necessarily have to keep all of the charts up all day long. Um, also, you can overlay the super trend stop on multiple charts, um, which I'll show you how to do um, during the webinar, which I'm doing tomorrow at 4.30. So if you want more information, go to my site, easyminitrade.com, and hit the upcoming webinars tab, and all the info is there. So this is this morning. It's 7.43 a.m. my time. I'm Eastern. And this is the NQ. I'm looking at a 15-minute, a 30-minute, and a 60-minute. So when I start out my day, whatever I'm getting ready to trade, I'll just take a glance at the higher time frame charts and just get an idea of where the super trend stop is. And I'll go over all the settings um, during the webinar tomorrow. So you can see looking at this, we have the super trend stop below price here on the 15, the 30, and the 60. So this would lead us to believe, obviously, the market um, – Cash market hasn't opened at 9.30 yet, but for the time being, this would lead us to believe that we're going to have an easier time moving higher today. Now, once we, um, if price starts to pull back, these can act as support areas, which you can see right here on the 15-minute holding it um, right here at the 72.75. Here it tried to get through, but it couldn't. It came back and it closed right on it. So the super trend stop only shows on one side of price or the other. So until price closes below the super trend, it won't start plotting above. So let's say that it does close below, then we get a super trend stop starting to plot above. Then we're going to have some mixed messages here um, because they won't all agree for the same direction. So that's the NQ. Here's Russell. Um, I don't know if anybody's trading it, but we started to trade it um, now that the volume's picking up a little bit. But here's a good example. And Unfortunately, Russell doesn't have um, a whole lot of volume pre-market. Neither does ENQ, but Russell is minuscule. But this was what I was talking about on the um, just now on the NQ. You could see how it price closed below the super trend stop here on the 15-minute, and then it starts to plot above. So now here on these three charts, we have some mixed messages. We have the 15-minute super trend stop above, which can act as resistance, and then we have it below on the 30 and the 60, which can act as support. So especially on these higher time frames, if they don't all agree, then you can um, often wind up with um, a choppy kind of day without much direction. But this is early yet. This could still close above here. So for the time being, this is what it looks like, and it's still relatively early. Um, let's look at a couple more. So this is crude. Not much really going on here this morning um, so far. It's inventory day. A lot of times we don't get a lot of movement. But you can see super trend stop on the 15 is below, 30 below, 60 below. So leading us to believe this will have an easier time moving higher. Um, you can see here how it was holding as support on the 30 minute and here on the 60 minute. So if it does pull back, those will be support areas. Let's look at one more. All right, here's 6E. 6E also super trend stop below on the 15, the 30, and the 60. So this would, again, lead us to believe um, this will have an easier time moving higher. If they pull back to the super trend stops, those could hold as support. If they close below, then they'll create a super trend stop above us, and that will act as resistance. So here, um, obviously, um, early, holding as support on that 15-minute, 30-minute, and it hasn't come back and tested the area on the 60. And these will keep moving based on price. So these are constantly um, moving as price moves. So I hope you find it helpful. I'll go over all the settings and so forth during the webinar tomorrow. And also, if you have any questions, feel free to shoot me an email. Otherwise, um, I'll see you tomorrow during the webinar. Have a great day, you guys.